we had already planned to build before we left Atlanta wherever we might be. So then when, when we found the property here, we just knew right off the bat this was the place and we'd definitely build right away. But we wanted to be sure to be out here before they started building because we'd been told by people who had done it before that you want to be here every step of the way to know that room's too small, take down that wall, move it over here. It had crossed my mind at first to stay in Atlanta until the house was built and then come out here, but no, that would have been a big mistake. The bad news about having a beautiful lot like this is there's a lot of hoops you have to jump through and it took a long time to get all the approvals and get everything nailed down. So the good side of that was we had a lot of time to refine the plans on the house. Jim did a, an amazing job of taking a relatively narrow piece of land that we were able to build on and producing what we wanted. Different people we talked to in, during that process of finding an architect especially said, had recommended, boy, if you're building at Deschutes River Ranch, you've got to go with Jim Rizuski. He's just passionate about the place, lives there himself, has a perfect vision of, of what it should be melding into the landscape, and everyone was very high on him, and that was the way to go. My role as the designer of this project is to be able to develop the architectural vision, uh, putting together uh, the owner's uh, program requirements, uh, their needs and uh, expectations, couple that with what the site is asking for, its needs and expectations, mix it again with a budget that which is always part of the equation, then the combination of putting all of those ingredients together to come up with an architecture that uh, meets all of those needs. There are a lot of folks that, we, um, that we've gone to to facilitate the building of this project. Summit Excavation has been uh, instrumental in getting the, the dig out and, uh, and the house oriented and put in the right spot on the site. The uh, ICF, which was uh, an ARCS product, is an important part of the equation in that, that that particular material is what is the foundation and the wall system for the entire house. The ICF construction is, is kind of unique. Uh, we're doing more and more of it all the time, but it's a good way to go. Lots of insulating qualities and sound deadening. I'm seeing more and more in the, of that. What kind of timetable are you on with, with this project? Um, <laughs> put him on the spot, I like it. <laughs> I paid him five bucks downstairs, Dad. <laughs> I'll bet he did. <laughs> Carving the terrace level into the side of the cliff of the hill was really a brilliant idea. And the Tuscan Tower goes up to the 30 feet level and still gives us great views. You know, we couldn't be happier with the way it, way it turned out. And we do have outbuildings, one for the, um, the equipment shed, which will have cars in it and a shop. And then the, the barn for the horses, which will have a shop area above it as well for our son who builds guitars. Um, all that kind of fits into this compound area very nicely and leaves a, kind of a long windy driveway into our property. The uh, timber frame uh, done by Steve Perot, who's the orchestrator and his crew putting together the, the timbers. River roofing, doing the roofing work. That's a very delicate and uh, sensitive uh, roof material that requires uh, a high degree of talent to be able to install an authentic clay tile roof like that. Rick Szymanski is involved with the exterior stucco, which is a very instrumental part, which is all of the exterior finish. Kelly Seneca, uh, the mason, has, has been unbelievable in developing a relationship with the owners and uh, procuring the right stone and installing it correctly and artfully. In the process of doing a home like this, there is no real book you can go to. Um, after a while, you've got to just set the drawings down and hum a few bars and expect that all of your subcontractors and artisans uh, uh, can take it from there. And the um, process of doing that is really synergistic. You end up with a product that um, is far more uh, sophisticated and artful and more complete than if it were just uh, connecting the dots. We're going with and all the stairs too. I like that. And uh, this deck surface out here? Yes. What are you thinking for that? I meet with the owners quite often. Uh, they are very integral to the whole project. Uh, uh, making decisions on all the details as, as well as the uh, architect and designer. Uh, working on the structural drawings, uh, coordinating with engineers, getting the drawings ready for permits. 
It's an interesting site, oh, sloping a lot. The, door, yes. the structure is, is a little so, challenging. A lot of yeah, retaining walls, a, door to a lot of slope to the lot. The but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward house. Well, this is the master bedroom. It's probably a good place to start. You can see they've got the fireplace going in at the end here. And this is the view we paid for. This is the uh, patio that will come off the master bedroom out here. Music room, there'll be a piano in here and then a bar here. That's my favorite part, is the bar. <laughs> this is the great room, or living room, whatever you want to call it. Here's the breakfast nook, what we call the morning room on this end. A bar here, the kitchen will be right here. Pantry on the right and the laundry room on the left. We'll have a, uh, a barbecue grill built in out here. All this will be graded away flat. Here will be a pond. I mean, uh, what I call the cowboy bar, otherwise known as pool bar. We'll have a, a built-in bar that area. This will be kind of the theater room on this side. Shuffleboard table here, and card table back here in this nook. The pool table will be in here, and this will be the wine cellar in here. Downstairs powder, powder room, which uh, will contain my urinal that my wife's not real happy about. Serious fun to be had by all. <laughs> Since we started construction, uh, I, I can't say enough good about it. It's just been a very pleasant experience, and in fact now uh, I guess the Rosiskis and the Melroses are some of our closest friends here. It's the development of friendships that um, really make it uh, worthwhile.